G'day viewers, today we're going to make a portal and we're going to use the power of shaders to do it quite, quite softly, we're not going to use a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of code e each of our, to each shader we're maybe going to add at the most like maybe six lines of code, something like that it's, pre it's pretty soft, I'm going to leave some, some intros to shader tutorials well, one by Quill18, another by Jesse Catterwall and that's going to really give a broad, a broad base of, of what shaders are, what we can do with them after watching those I feel like you'd be very confident in jumping into this one otherwise you can just follow along you know see how much you understand like learn by doing if that's if that's your style uh, okay yeah so when, when I say portal I really mean um, uh, no, you know portal video game where you're like looking into the same room from another place we're not really talking about that we're really talking about another world another dimension so so you'd you'd have this portal you look through it oh there's like all this cool stuff going on in there what happens if I go through it go through it and then the whole world you're inside immersed inside that world and how we're going to do that in our shaders we're going to use uh, a unity a unity a uh, unity tool I suppose you could call it called stencils if you're familiar at all with like a, a Z buffer how that sort of works where where you know you got your screen and like you know, you're, what you're doing is each object is kind of writing to a buffer, and kind of saying, okay, well, well, say I'm the closest object. Okay, so my the Z buffer is going to be say one meter here, and then like you know, 1.5 meters here, you know that that sort of thing. And then oh, but here's another object, and it's further away than than the current Z buffer, so we won't draw it, right? That's that's the idea of a Z buffer, and stencils are so similar. They're really close, except instead of Instead of a distance that we're writing to the writing to the to the instead of a distance that we're writing to the buffer, we're actually going to write um, we're going to choose what value we want to send. So let's say for example we have a portal, right? We can say for every for every pixel uh, of this portal, we're going to write to our stencil buffer the number one. So by default, a stencil buffer might look like zero 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 etc. Right, and then in here it's going to be one 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 one. You know, and that, that's how you can might, might imagine it looking. And then we can say, for every object inside this other world, we want to say, for like, let's say for example, we've got a little, like a little duck. I don't know, uh, looks like that maybe, little head. You can tell, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what a duck looks like. All right, so you've got a little duck and maybe you want to say, I only want to see this duck through the portal. If I'm if I'm on on this side of it, I'm not going to be able to see it. You know, if if I'm uh, let's say even even in front of the portal, but not looking through it, I also won't be able to see it. What we can say is on the screen, only render the duck if the stencil buffer has the number one on it. And that, that's kind of the idea behind behind our stencil buffer. And and I guess the only thing we've got to consider is what happens when we actually go through the portal. So if we're inside this other dimension, then we're able to say, oh, actually, always, always draw the duck. So what we're going to do there is we're going to change what's called uh, a, like a, a a compare test. You know, in 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 a Z buffer, it'd be called a Z test, but in a stencil. We're just we're gonna we'll call it a call it a stencil test, right? And that can be something like if the stencil buffer is equal to one, so it could be is it equal? Then we will draw the duck. If it's not equal to one, if it's not equal, then we will not draw the duck. Okay, and 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 once we go through the portal, we're gonna flip that. So we'll say once you're through the portal then you won't ignore the portal exists, we're only looking at zeros, so if it's not equal to one, then we will draw the duck. And, and that's going to become very, very easy to see how it works once, once we jump into the code and start to put it all together. And yeah, we'll even make a little scene, you know, so we can sort of like see how it's all going to all gonna work. We're going to do this for AR Core and AR Kit, so whatever device you got, it's all good. We'll be able to get it going on that. I hear that Vuforia is coming to 2017.3, so maybe I'll even be able to get a Vuforia thing out. And that'll be, that'll be compatible with, with many more phones. Yeah, so yeah, so we'll see how we go.